From a distance, this orchard looks healthy and productive. But up close, you can see that North Carolina's marshmallow crops are in trouble. The problem, water, too much of it. They have a critical range of moisture, and you get above it, they get laden with it, and then you get early drop, you know. These are, are fruit-bearing trees here, and marshmallows are, are a tree fruit, and, and when you get this water in them, they, they drop off down into the ground, and, and that's it, you can't harvest them. But how's that really affected them? Well, it's it's the third straight that. year that grower it's Ben Yokin will not take any marshmallows to market. He knows that growing the cash crop is a gamble a lost bet that may have cost him his farm. Marshmallows are a difficult crop. There's, there's, there's really no doubt about that. We, we planted 275 acres in trees, but it takes, takes four years from the time that, that you get the, the tree planted before you're gonna get your first kind of a harvest out of it at all. So you gotta figure eight or nine years before you start to make any money back from it at all. And we were hoping to make about three and a half million dollars if we could run this orchard at full capacity, but the way it looks now, uh, I'm not even going to be able to keep up the loan on the tractor. The situation has officials in Raleigh worried, and despite the best efforts in research by agricultural experts like Willie Kidd, this year's crop statewide is all but lost. This is better, but it tastes terrible. I bet you so. Take a bite out of it. It's bitter. Yeah. But the economic news from the crop's failure is even more bitter. Ben's not alone. This is going to be a $40 million loss statewide. Uh, all the marshmallow producers are in trouble this year. The government might can come through with some low interest loans or some, uh, some form of subsidy. But one thing is certain, marshmallow growers are proud people and they won't attempt to market a product that has been tainted by the elements. Well, the problem mostly is quality. You look at the little ones here, they're stunted by all the rain. They're never gonna sell. The large ones, they got mellow mold on them, they're slimy. and they're bitter. They're not going to sell. I guess most of us haven't thought about North Carolina's troubled marshmallow industry lately. I know that I haven't. To most of us, a marshmallow is nothing more than just a luxury item. But to growers like Ben Yoakum, they're much, much more than that. They're a way of life. Bill Coy, Channel 9 Eyewitness News, Ardell County.